new special Shark Attack, The Page Winter Story with Robin Roberts takes you on an inspiring year-long journey of a 17-year-old girl trying to emotionally and physically get her life back together after being attacked by a shark. And we're joined now by host and executive producer Robin Roberts. We want to find out all about this. This is an amazing story that you did mm -hmm. with her because it's, ex it's just stunning. Go ahead, Joy. It is. You... Well, we'll get. To, uh, we're going to get to that in a second. But let's start with a little uh, politics, okay? Because in August, you shocking. and David you you are landed this the. This is shocking. I know. Listen, it's everywhere. I'm, I'm up at night yeah. thinking about it. So uh, you and David mm. Muir landed the first joint interview with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for ABC News. Mm -hmm. So bravo to you. Uh, tell me, what was the takeaway from the conversation, in your opinion? Well, as you all started off saying, it's 54 days until the election, and David Muir and I traveled to Delaware for the interview, and it was wonderful working with David on this. And, you know, many people were asking, were anything off the, off the table? Nothing was off the table. We could ask them anything, including the debates, because a lot of people, when uh, Senator Harris was selected as a running mate, were talking about the debates. Uh, during our interview, it became very clear that they are on the same page about what they feel are the important issues facing this country. And at the end of the day, they want the same things, but the journey getting there is perhaps different. But what they want is the same. And so they're in lockstep in that regard. Well, Robin, I'm so excited about this. I love anything shark related. You have a new primetime special, <laughs> Shark Attack, the Paige Winter Story with Robin Roberts. And you first interviewed Paige last year, just a few weeks after she had been attacked by a shark while swimming at the beach, resulting in the loss of this is awful, her left leg and two of her fingers. Yeah. Uh, what drew you to this story so early on? Well, Megan, you know, oftentimes uh, there's a story like this, and in the press journalists, we, we want to talk to the principals, the people involved. And so, I, as you said, I, I sat down with her in the hospital. She had just had her leg amputated, and I was just so taken by her spirit and the doctors and nurses talking about her attitude and how she said to me, hey, the, some of the pieces are missing, but I'm still the same. And oftentimes when we do a story, we're like, okay, bye. But we wanted to know what happens after that. And so we followed her for the year. And it was so gracious of her to allow us to have cameras so we could document what it's like after something like that happens to you. And Paige recounts the early moments of the attack in vivid detail. And we have a clip. Take a look. I remember feeling the teeth like piercing like through my hand. And I was like, off. I was like thinking of like a bear trap. And the bear trap was like the shark's teeth in my mind. I'm just gonna try to like put my hands in there and like see what happens. And it like came off for a second. It was like, what are you doing? Like it spit my hands out. I was like, ew, gross. And then like put my leg back in its mouth. Like this is what this is what I want. And then I'm like sitting there like like holding my breath, shutting my eyes. I'm underwater. I can't get up. And I got up for a second. And I heard screaming, like gasped and got some seawater all up in there. And I remember just like, hold your breath, Paige, just to hold it. Oh. And Robin, you faced some incredibly challenging times yourself. When you look mm. at Paige and what she's gone through, how key has her attitude and outlook been in her recovery? Well, everybody's got something, Sarah. You know, you've heard me say that time and time again. And her attitude is everything in the recovery. When she said to me that, when this was happening to her, when she was in the throes of the shark attack, that her life wasn't passing before her eyes, her future was. Oh. And, and to have that, I mean, this is a teenager. And she just realized that, no, this is not going to prevent me. She, at that moment, she was saying I, she could not wait until she could walk through the door at, uh, for high school. She was about to start her senior year, and she was committed to living her life. It was just so amazing. I got the chance, Robin, to watch the screener. It's so well done, and, and it's the parent of two teenagers. Uh, she is remarkable. Uh, and I'd like to talk to you about Paige's dad, Charlie, whom you also interview. And he rushed into the water uh, that day and saved her life. What was it like to hear him talk about that moment? Because that just, it just struck me mm. uh, when I heard him. I bet as a, 
Yeah, as a parent, I bet it did, Sonny. And you're going to hear details in the special tonight uh, that have never been revealed before about how he was able to fend off the shark and just really get into details about, about the attack. You know, he is a firefighter and a paramedic. And he just, he went after that shark. And he was so exhausted when he got his daughter back to shore. And many people thought, oh, the fact that he was a firefighter and paramedic, he was able to tend to his daughter. And you can, you all who are parents can respect this. He said, no, he was there as a father. You know, others gratefully were yeah. there and could help. But he said he didn't know how many, many moments he might have left with his daughter. And so he wanted to be there to comfort her. But the detail that they uh, willingly go into, and, and, and more importantly, uh, the, the journey from this past year. We had cameras with them for, for more than a year and to see where she is now and how this year has unfolded for her. Well, in the special, we see Paige in the running for homecoming queen at the high school. And this was only months after the attack, which is incredible. What does she want people to learn from her story? She wants people to learn that probably before the attack, she would not have run for homecoming queen. That it made her, it wow. brought something out in her, a, a boldness that she, that she um, perhaps didn't have before. And what she wants to show, and, and all of us who consider ourselves thrivers after we've gone through our something, this too shall pass. And she is a shining example of that and remaining optimistic and so looking forward to her future. And wait till you hear the special, what she plans to do in the future. I love this. I, as I said, I love this special, Robin. I'm so proud to see it. We want to thank Robin Roberts. I believe this special is on this evening. I just, my stuff just went down. Uh, so we'll make sure that it comes up. There it is. There's tonight at 10 p.m. on Eastern Standard Time. And you can, of course, see Robin every weekday on Good Morning America. Both